Welcome back guys, this is going to be the um, the fourth part of the video tutorial um, so it's all about this, I'm gonna, you know, I was I was writing, uh, I finished writing my, you know, SQL connection object now I'm gonna write my data access country, in this case the country DAO object here so I'm gonna define object, country DAO this is define it as a, you know, object, empty object later on for now and I'm going to say module module.export.countryDAO I'm going to save that to that object countryDAO okay in here I'll be writing my code okay I need to very first thing of uh, course the first thing I need is I need the, the, the connection string to connect to a database so um, maybe I want to I have um, this one this name is kind of little I don't it's uh, I would say connection string that's what it is um, I want to have. I want to add a new file here. JavaScript file. MySQL connection. MySQL connection provider. This guy only knows how to provide. You know, so a connection string to it. MySQL connection provider object. Let's define. I could have done all in one file, but I like to write a modular file. Just you know, each file does a little bit of things instead of having all code in. So this guy, um, in this we need a MySQL connection here. So we need to require library called MySQL. Right? This is okay. We're gonna write some method here. Git SQL connection. It's gonna be a function. Okay. Connection equals to uh, my SQL has a method now called create connection. To create connection, as you can easily guess, you need the connection string. How do we obtain the connection string? We, the, you know, this guy knows how to give the connection string to us, right? So, um, I'm gonna name it as a connection string, just like the file name. Okay. In this process, we're gonna require our connection string provider. Okay. Okay. say require is my connection string and once we have a reference to this into this uh, constructor uh, into this we're gonna pass that parameter my SQL connection string as of course you know um, my SQL connection dot connection string Even easily, like when I write a code, I would prefer to, um, let's say, based on the environment, you might need different kind of connection string. If you, if you need, then you can say a connection string. You can define um, the environment here as a dev, and then you can give that. What I mean is, let's say, if it's development, and this whole thing, this is your development configure, you know, connection string. Maybe now you can define your um, your QA your QA environment QA or something, and maybe you can define now uh, your uh, production environment. Oops. Production or you can say uh, test envi test environment or whatever. 
so now if that is the case then instead of doing that of course so you're going to say you got connects in a string you're going to choose the SQL connection has a connection string. Something is not right. Because you know the new changes is not even visible into that file. So connection string development connection string and you can say uh, development okay the intelligence is not visible but it's okay I'm pretty sure this is how it should be okay now you know in this guy now we provide we create the connection we provide the connection the string information to this method once we have those information what we can do is do this connection there is a method called connect okay and to the connect you can pass the callback function let's say error if there is an error this would handle it Try to see whether we can connect to a MySQL server or not. So what we can do if there is error, we cannot connect to a server, we can throw this exception here. Throw this error. Otherwise, we can just write, let's say, console.log connection is successful. Connection my SQL connection became connection successful oh, not for both okay and then right this ends right here okay and finally we do this method we can return this connection right here this is the connection provider object right so, you know, the client can call this method get SQL connection. It will provide, you know, this connection object is now available to to, the, to our DAO object. This is cool. Uh, other important thing we can do after we open the connection, it's always a good idea to close it. So let's see how can we close that connection. We can write down close SQL connection as a function and to this we're going to pass the current connection currently running connection right okay it's a complaining about that i know don't worry okay how do you how do you um the it has let me see how the structure of the close looks like Connection dot oh the end connection okay this is method call end connection and you can pass the option and then the callback it's the same idea so you're gonna say a uh, current connection dot end and callback if there is an error same thing handle it otherwise connection there is a if error same idea let me just grab this code here okay okay if there is a problem through the error all done otherwise say you know connection closed
Okay.